Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here, and you know, sometimes an update comes out that's so huge, so audacious, so dash daring that it can only be considered a game changer. Well, that's not this one, I'm afraid. After all, it is only the 5th of January and most people still can't work out what day it is, let alone how to develop a survival game. So, uh, trees? You like trees, don't you? I hope you do, because this week sees the log put back into DevBlog with news of an overhaul to our trees, which apparently was long overdue. You see, the ones we currently have were plucked from the Speed Tree store, and the goal is to turn over a new leaf and replace these with higher quality custom assets. This has two main benefits, most importantly to optimization, which I know you're all pining for, and Facepunch have already started producing their own models, which in tests have been able to chop down the triangle count per tree by about 40 to 50% and reduce the number of draw calls to one. This means we could end up with either the same number of trees with better performance or a lot more trees with the same performance. I think I know which one you'd like though. That's right. More trees, I mean better performance. The second benefit, which I just know you'll all be excited about, is that the tree farming minigame could become that bit more interesting with trees being cut in half when harvested, leaving a stump, which I suppose would look nice and also tell you that someone else is lumbering around the area. Anyway, the screenshots I'm showing you here are of the first new model, the Douglas Fir, which currently has four variants, and more deciduous types such as oak and beech are planned, including extra ground foliage in forests. No idea when these will be in yet, as it is a large job, but stay tuned, and I'll let you know when they appear on the staging branch. A couple of fixes to building were in the commits this week. Shelves and tool cupboards will be destroyed correctly if the construction beneath them goes bye-bye, and tool cupboards can no longer be submerged in rocks which would make them a tiny bit difficult to destroy. Also, as it was the first patch of the month, there was a wipe to servers, but blueprints have been left as they are. Work is being done to help ensure that the sounds you hear associated with view models in first person actually match up with what nearby players hear when they're near you. Melee swings were finished up this week, with the whoosh of a rock being the same for everyone involved in the exercise, and deploy sounds are also in process, but don't worry, these will be super short range and won't necessarily spoil your attempts at stealthiness. Lastly this week, because yes it is a very compact and bijou update, AI was one thing worked on over the holidays, with scientist behaviour being completely redone. They now communicate, take cover, run away, and lots more. The loot they drop is more controlled and sensible, and a nav mesh issue was resolved which should now allow them to chase you through the tightest of corridors. All in all, expect to see these chaps fairly soon. Well, that's it for you lot. You're up to date, and if you wouldn't mind leaving me a like and a sub, that'd be much appreciated. Come and join me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and my Steam group too. I shall catch you all soon, of course, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.